Hi, Katie Owens here. I'm a CNI specialist for special education with Round Lake Area Schools. Today we have Ann Benninghoff, expert on co-teaching and specially designed instruction in the classroom. We're so excited to hear from you, Ann. Today's question is this. You have ample experience as a classroom teacher. Can you identify a time when you struggled creating specially designed instruction for a lesson or a particular content and describe how you were able to find a solution and be successful despite those challenges you were facing? Um, well, I'm trying to think of what some of my co-teachers in the past might say in answer to that question, like, where, Anne, where did you go wrong? You know, what was that example? And I, I think of one teacher, uh, co-teacher colleague, Barb, who would say, oh, do you remember that terrible lesson where <laughs> we did the styrofoam? So what was happening is we were um, teaching um, uh, plot uh, like plot mountains for kids to understand, you know, the, how a plot, you know, reaches a climax, comes down, et cetera. And we were just introducing that. And I'm always interested in trying to make it fun and engaging and hands-on. And so I actually bought these styrofoam triangles. And then we had kids make little sticks that represented each step in the plot. And so they would stick them into the styrofoam and they'd go up to the top and stick one at the top or climax it down. But it was really, a, a, it sounds like fun, but it they got so distracted by the styrofoam and the noise of the crunch as it went into the styrofoam was like driving my co-teacher crazy. And, and it, it dawned on me that I have had a tendency at times to get too wrapped up in the fun, um, what somebody famous in education used to call the Crayola curriculum, like too into the coloring or the this or the that and losing sight of what is the essential purpose? What do we need kids to learn and do? So it's good to have fun, but I always have to just think, okay, I really need them to be able to understand this by the end. And is that the best way to get there? Or is there another way that's going to keep them really focused on the essential? So that's just always in my head having to kind of almost like a little question mark. Is this Crayola curriculum <laughs> or is this real curriculum, right? So that we don't overdo the fun, uh, but not underdo it either. We have to have kids engaged. So trying to find that balance. Thank you. That's so well stated. I'm going to remember that Crayola. That's a great memory technique that I'm going to remember for our classrooms as well. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Anne. You're welcome.